cancer treatment is challenging. We have some success in treatment of cancer but still high mortality and low quality of life in many cases. That's why it is important to create and develop new approach in treatment of cancer. City of Hope, one of the largest cancer research and treatment organizations in the United States, developed oncolytic virus that has been shown to shrink colon, lung, breast, ovarian and pancreatic cancer tumors in preclinical laboratory and animal models. Oncolytic viruses can stimulate the immune system to respond to and kill cancer, as well as stimulate the immune system to be more responsive to other immunotherapies, including checkpoint inhibitors. The name of the virus is CF33HNIS vaccinia. This virus is genetically modified to infect, replicate in and kill cancer cells, while sparing healthy cells. It can easily kill cells while replicates inside infected cell. Another big thing is increased effectiveness of anti-cancer chemotherapy drugs. While immune checkpoint inhibitors have been effective in certain cancers, patients often relapse and eventually stop responding to or develop resistance to this type of treatment. And this oncolytic virus can increase of checkpoint inhibitors effectiveness. Early research shows oncolytic viruses can prime a person's immune system and increase the level of PDL1 in tumors, making immunotherapy more effective against cancer. In the trail, patients will get low dose of CF33 HNIS virus. Patients in the trial are diagnosed with metastatic cancer or advanced solid tumors who have had at least two prior lines of standard of care treatment. 100 patients will get the treatment to evaluate safety and tolerability of the drug. The investigational treatment will be delivered either as an injection directly into tumors or intravenously. Once patients treated with the lowest doses and acceptable safety has been demonstrated, then new study will start in which patients will receive the experimental oncolytic virus plus pembrolizumab, an engineered antibody that improves the immune system's ability to fight cancer. The most important thing is that if the trials will be successful, we can successfully treat a wide variety of deadly cancers. The trial will last around 24 months. Started April 2022.